Hey YouTube, what is going on? This is Ryan Reacts with another video. Linkin Park, I've always been a fan. Everything from Minutes to Midnight and before. Not necessarily A Thousand Suns or newer. Haven't kept up. But every time I relate to any video to Linkin Park, I will always say rest in peace to Chester Bennington. One of my most favorite, most talented people. Not just a musician, lyricist, vocalist, but just a person in general. Very humble, down to earth. Very tragic what happened. And rest in peace to Chris Cornell, his friend. It's unfortunate. But here we are. We live to see another day. And we're here for the music. Yes, I've heard this song. It's a really good song. I'll give my analysis while the song is being played. Let's go. Before Chester kicks in. See, that's how you do a solid track. You have decent volume levels, decent riffs, decent, in this case, they like to use electronic sounds and beats, which is understandable. This band revolutionized many bands, even to this very day, with how they produce and how they mix and sample certain things to make really cool sounding songs and the structure of this song is no exception at all i like how everyone when i think of lincoln park i think of chester which is understandable again the talent but can we get a round of applause for mike shinoda with his lyrical capability him still being relevant to the band to this day although chester's been gone away from us for some years now. I like how in some songs he is the main drive and then Chester's just being the backup, but it shows that, hey, we're Lincoln Park. We don't have to be catered or centered towards just one main person. We can give homage to the other musicians by switching it up. <laughs> The guitar is good, the bass is good, just the electronic sounds, it's really good. The mixer, synthesizer, whatever you want to call it. But overall, just the groove, melody, and rhythm is what drives the songs. Makes everything flow. And then lyrically, just being alone, depressed, but having that special person in your life. Or knowing that you're there for that special person. No matter what happens, you'll be there. For the most part, some people you just have to let go. But this is more of like a love song, it seems like, to where no matter what happens, whether they're there in spirit whether or whether they're there physically, the writers just want the audience to know that they got your back. It's pretty cool. It doesn't have to necessarily be a relationship. It could just be your fans. Do what I 
I can, but sometimes I don't make sense. I am what you never want to say, but I've never had a doubt. It's like no matter what I do, I can't convince you for once just to hear me out. So I let go, watching you, turn your back like you always do. Face away and pretend that I'm not, but I'll be here because you're all that I got. Exactly. It's like your own kids can be applied to that. Like, you don't like the way they're going. You don't like a lot of choices that they made and continue to make to this day. The path that they have walked down, you don't like watching them struggle or suffer, but you're there to bail them out when things go wrong. But there are some times where it's not good to do that because they might be contemplating doing a certain choice. But because you keep on bailing them out all the time, it's not really going to take much convincing for them to do those things. Because it's like, well, the risk versus reward factor is much different because if I do succeed, I got what I wanted. But if I do fail, my mom's got my back for me. So I'm going to risk it. But you could do the little plot twist where... You actually don't give in and you don't bail them out. So they have to actually learn from their mistakes and take that punishment. Which is pretty interesting. Just something to think about. A lot of people, they'll just keep bailing out and bailing out. But it's, it's only enabling. It's enabling. <laughs> tongue twister. It's enabling the behavior. Right now. They really know how to create epic songs. They know how to really push you over the edge and make you think and make you rage and make you happy. You go through hard times and then the music just finds you. You don't find it, it finds you. And then the rabbit hole just keeps getting deeper and you just keep jumping through it. Keep going down and down until... Sometimes you go past the point of no return. But that's why music is so timeless, because it was created when it was created. And songs can get old after you listen to them so long. But then when you stop listening to it for so long, then it feels fresh and new. And then it also helps you reminisce on those times that you got through while listening. You got through those negative experiences. So then that's going to help you understand that most likely you're going to get through it again. And you're also going to help other people along their path. So thank you for the recommendation. Although, again, I've obviously heard the song, but it still it sounds fresh every time because I don't oversaturate my music and what I listen to. There will be days where I don't hear any type of song. Not lately, since I've been doing this whole YouTube thing. So hopefully I helped you with my perception, perspective. Because I know the band did for me, and I know the band did for you. So, yeah.
May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Whatever you're going through in life, you can get through it. It ain't going to be easy. It ain't going to be a quick fix. We didn't break the first day. We were damaged and broken over time. And it's going to take longer to repair. But we'll make it through.